Now joined by Jets running back Ty Johnson. Ty, you joined the Jets midseason after you were waived by the Lions. Just what was your 2020 like as a whole, and how do you feel like you performed? Um, 2020, just in a nutshell, man, just weird. Um, definitely a journey. Uh, you know, went from Detroit to you know over here in New York, uh, New Jersey. So it's definitely been a uh, you know, just weird and wild and uh, a long journey. But overall, it was good. You know, um, performance wise, uh, you know, there's always going to be a few plays I wish, you know, I made a certain cut or, you know, made a certain move and whatnot. But um, I feel really good about the opportunities I got and the chances I was given to, you know, get on the field and make something happen and put good film out there. So um, I feel I feel pretty good about it, you know. So you had your first touchdown this season, your first 100-yard game. And I'm just wondering, like, where do you see yourself in the future in terms of this team, and how do you how do you build on what you've laid the foundation here? Um, just keep being me and move forward, you know. Um, I know I can, you know, run the ball, I can catch, I can block. Um, so it's just being in the right place at the right times and preparing and studying the right way and, you know, just doing everything I can to be the guy, really. Um, and that's because, you know, comes down to hard work and competing and whatnot and, you know, see where it goes. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, obviously, we're going to have to go through the process of having a, a new guy come in and whatnot. Um, going to obviously have to earn my stripes with whoever comes in. And, uh, you know, I love the running back room we have now. I love the guys in there. I love the team. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Ty, it seems like you picked up this offense pretty seamlessly. I mean, in your first game that you were active as a Jet, you had a long run. And like I said earlier, you had that real big game against the Las Vegas Raiders. Just what worked for you this year? Um, Coach Jim Bob really came through for me. He broke down the offense for me, like plain and simple, layman terms. Um, if I like on a certain run, like uh, the first game of the year, against Miami, you know, he was like, don't worry about anything else. Just read him, read the this guy on the edge, make sure your landmark is there. And my landmark was still a little tight, but, um, you know, he just made everything really simple for me. And obviously I had Frank Gore, uh, LP, I had Josh and everything in there. And then also being able to talk to, you know, Flacco, Darnold about sudden protections or what they're seeing and whatnot. Uh, it's, been, it's been really well to have those guys. And obviously uh, talking to Coach Dow, Coach Frank, um, even Gase, you know, throughout the, the weeks in practice, being able to see certain things and being able to discuss it and chat about it um, has definitely helped in the long run. Ty, I'm just curious, what's it like running behind Makai Becton? Oh, it's lovely. What, you, what, you, what do you mean? How is it? It's, it's, come on now. Is that a question? Like, <laughs> you know how big he is and you see what he be doing to people? Like, come on now. Like, uh, we had uh, the wide zone in the game uh, yesterday. And I was like, yeah, bro, just do you. I'm going to read you. Uh, don't worry about anything else. I got you. Uh, but, yeah, man, he's just uh, – he's a monster, dog. Uh, like, know, how much of an asset is that? What? You know, that's huge, man. You got a guy that can just knock back anybody. He gets great push off the ball. He has uh, live active feet, good quick hands, and, you know – He's just demolishing people, you know what I'm saying? If he gets inside their chest, it's it's over with. He's driving his feet. He's pancaking them. He's throwing them out the way. He's throwing them out the club, really. So uh, he's definitely a huge asset. And, you know, it's evident this year, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people see that. He knows that. The league knows that. He's he's a great player. Ty, what do you hope to work on in the offseason? Um, what am I going to work on, man? Just a little bit of everything, dog. Uh, you know, it's been – just anything possible, anything I can pick from the film, I'm going to look at and be like, okay, I can do this, but I can make my cuts a little sharper. Um, I can stop on a dime more on this route. It's just nitpicking certain things in the film and, all right, let me work on this. Um, catching contested balls and whatnot. It's all those things put in, a, uh, put in one, um, especially how I'm reading film and whatnot, how I'm preparing uh, being able to identify defenses better, uh, rotation of safeties and whatnot when blitzes are coming. Uh, so it's a it's a lot of everything, really, and uh, that's what I did last year, and it definitely helped out a lot this year. So I'm going to keep doing that, 
And uh, obviously, I want to, you know, get in the ears of, uh, get in the heads of other, you know, running backs around the league uh, and just go from there. Awesome, Ty. Appreciate the time. Enjoy your offseason. Appreciate you. Have a good one.